applause, all of your love to make this a great finale to this weekend. Devin Murray and Elsa Lashay! Already, uh, yeah, it's very bumpy, bouncy. Yeah. bouncy. <laughs> yes, it's. I think that's the most talked about item <laughs> in this so Comic Con is how bouncy the chairs are. Yeah, oh my very god, bouncy. so loud. <laughs> <laughs> how was it so far? Well, we are almost at the end. Has it been a good convention? It has. Today? Yeah, Brussels. Everyone's been really, really welcoming. Really, really nice here. Yeah, everybody's been great. Uh, there's been some good cosplayers. I'm looking at this girl with her hair stood up. That's really cool. Uh, yeah, no, everybody's been really nice and real kind. But you never thought differently. You didn't think, oh, Brussels, they, they bite people there. No, <laughs> no definitely not. <laughs> all, all your positive prejudices have been confirmed. Exactly. Great. Donc, ils aiment, ils vous aiment bien. And you love them as well, don't you? Yes. I thought they were going to applaud right now. <laughs> and you love them as well, don't you? <laughs> We have quite a lot of Harry Potter fans in Brussels, clearly. Many. Yeah, yes. yeah in Belgium, not just Brussels. Yes, and they're very active as well. They're very... talk about it yeah. a lot. <laughs> well, not hardly enough, of course, of course. It's been so many years, and there's still so much love surrounding these movies. Yeah. How, how is that for you, both of you? For us, it's great. I mean... <laughs> We're still here, like 15, how many years later? Like 20 years. 20 years later, we're still here working, meeting you guys, and like the magic never ends. So it's great to come here and still see so many Harry Potter fans and like new generations taking it up as well. So yeah, for us, it's great. And I, I like, it's hard to believe, like when I was 11 years old, I never imagined how big Harry Potter was going to be, never mind that it was going to have success for 20 years after the first movie came out. I, that's just mind-blowing for me and to most other actors. So uh, it's great to still be able to like travel the world, meet new people, and yeah, just have fun. So, they are surprised that after 20 years, there is still so much love and so much passion for these films. They would not have imagined when they started. Yeah, I do this translation. Ils sont en train de... Voilà. Donc, euh, je vous dis que... <rire> non, it's okay. I was doing my little show, it's fine. Euh, donc, euh, ils, ils n'auraient jamais pu s'imaginer quand ils ont commencé euh, au tournage, au film, que ce serait un succès si grand qu'aujourd'hui, encore toujours, ils ont l'opportunité de, de voyager pendant, sur tout le monde et de rencontrer autant de gens qui, qui en cours, encore aiment bien ce film et qu'il y a aussi une nouvelle génération euh, qui n'étaient pas encore nés même quand les films sont apparus. Donc pour eux, c'est génial. There. I, génial. It sounds good. Hein? Yeah, ouais. Yeah. <laughs> Bravo pour la traduction. Yeah. Sorry. Um, well, there's questions. There are questions. There's. I will do this immediately. Okay. So we're here for them after all. Exactly. They're here for you. Okay. Let's do it. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Uh, uh, Hi. Hello. Uh, I have a question uh, for uh, Devon. Uh, what is your favorite blade scene? My favorite scene? Yeah. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Just one. Just one. The one, the magical one. The one where you really go like, ah. Okay, so my favorite scene is actually the Yule Ball scene yes. in the fourth movie. Oh. Simply because we'd spent four years in the Great Hall looking the exact same. I say that as well. And it was such a huge transformation for like being there for so many years and seeing it the exact same for so long. To see it like that was just mind blowing for all of us. Uh, we all had a lot of fun. We had to learn how to dance for <laughs> eight weeks, which was a lot of fun in itself. And uh, yeah, it was just great. It's actually the oh, yeah, exactly the same scene. So the scene in the quatrième film, the ball, the dance. <rire> oui, c'est ça, hein, c'est ce qu'on dirait. Ouais, ouais, voilà. Ouais, euh, il, pendant quatre ans, il connaissait le chambre, la salle telle qu'elle était, et seulement, c'était tout transformé. Ils ont dû, pendant huit semaines, dû apprendre comment danser. Euh, non, c'était vraiment un moment magique pour les deux. Ils sont d'accord. I, yeah. I have a question for you twice, Devon and Afshan. Do you know uh, if one day Daniel Radcliffe, Rupert Grint, and Emma Watson will be present in Belgium for a geek convention. 
And the second question, uh, in which houses of whole world would you feel well if you in the real life? Okay, so the first question, I have no idea if Danny Mac is going to Maybe. 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 Yeah. <laughs> There's some there. Yeah, I'm a Gryffindor. So I'm a Slytherin in real life. Whoa! See, it's like the best house in the world. I always knew I was a Slytherin. And I actually said it to the producers that uh, I had a great idea for Seamus in the later movies. That Seamus would be an undercover spy for Slytherin. Ooh. And they're like, oh my God, that's a great idea. I was like, you want to put it in the movie? No. no. <laughs> and uh, J.K. Rowling was giving out to me one day on Twitter because somebody had asked me what they should wear to uh, a convention. And she was like, should I wear my uh, Gryffindor robes or my Slytherin robes? And I was like, Slytherin, of course. <laughs> so uh, she was calling me a traitor and calling me out oh, on it. Oh, so. no. Voilà, donc euh, la maison Gryffindor et Slytherin, je ne sais pas si c'est le même nom en français en plus. Oui, hein, bah, on fait semblant que c'est la même chose. Voilà. <rire> Slytherin. En fait, euh, il a dit au producteur, euh, au réalisateur, que ce serait intéressant si dans le film on révèle à un certain point qu'il a toujours été un spion pour Slytherin euh, et, et que ah, qu'il était undercover, undercover. It's French now. We decided to do that. Um, et que aussi, euh, à un certain point, J.K. Rowling, quand elle allait à une convention aussi, elle s'est demandé sur Twitter « Qu'est-ce que je porte, mon Slytherin ou mes vêtements euh, Gryffindor ?» Et lui, il a répondu bien sûr « Slytherin » et les gens ont commencé en masse de lui dire qu'il est un traître euh, envers sa maison, en fait. Voilà. Si. Who's next? Where? Oh, is it there? Oh, there. There's a fan. <laughs> oh, no. Hello. Oh, no. Oh, oh my me. God. Big applause! It's Georgia! <laughs> no, you're just you're a fan now. Also, I would be Hufflepuff. By the way. Oh, come on. Yes. Yes. Woo! Yes. <laughs> um, I never asked you guys. Did you ever audition for your roles? How did mm. they? How did that come about? Est-ce qu'ils ont fait des auditions? Comment ils sont rentrés dans le film? So I never went for an audition. Uh, my character was originally cast as an English boy. And J.K. Rowling was like, no, he has to be, he's an Irish character, so he needs to be played by an Irish kid. So, uh, yeah, they kicked poor Ben out of the part, and they flew myself and Matthew Lewis, who plays Neville, yes. to do a screen test. So I was told I was going for either Seamus or Neville, and Matthew was told he was going for either Seamus or Neville. Oh. So between the two of us, we were like, okay, so you're going to be Seamus, yeah. I'm going to be Neville. <laughs> uh, Yeah, and that's all I ever did. And then the following day, or a few days later, we had the read-through for the script. And uh, yeah, but I didn't know. I'd never heard of Harry Potter. So when I went on set to meet Dan, Rupert, Emma, and the director and producers, I went straight to the director, straight past Dan, Rupert, and Emma, and I said, Hiya, Harry. Nice to meet you. So I thought his name was Harry Potter. <laughs> You know? So they were looking for a stupid Irish kid, and they found a stupid Irish kid. <laughs> But you're all the smarter for it now. Exactly. Donc il savait même pas, c'était que, il connaissait pas Harry Potter quand il a, euh, il a pas fait son audition. Au début, il y avait un acteur anglais, un enfant, euh, mais euh, Jake Rowling a dit non, c'est pas possible, c'est un personnage irlandais. irlandais. Ouais, ouais, voilà. Irlandais. J'allais dire irrois, mais c'est vraiment... <rire> Irlandais. Et donc, euh, on, on l'a demandé à lui et à un autre, et l'autre acteur qui joue euh, Neville euh, de venir. Et entre eux, ils avaient déjà décidé qui allait jouer, quel rôle. Donc, c'était déjà décidé. Euh, le fait qu'il ne connaissait pas Harry Potter avant, c'est quand il arrivait à rencontrer euh, les acteurs principaux. <rire> Je commence à oublier les noms maintenant. Donc, <rire> Harry, Hermione et... Ron. Ron. See, I'm starting to fizzle out slowly. It's okay, so am I. Il, 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 comme il n'avait pas lu les livres, il les déplaçait simplement, il donnait sa main au réalisateur. Il disait, ah, you must be Harry. C'est probablement vous, parce qu'il n'avait aucune idée. Jean. There you go. Et maintenant, il sait ce qui est, qui, qui est Harry et qui ne l'est pas. Yeah, mine wasn't that easy. Um, I was 15 years old in high school, 
and the teachers were like oh the casting agents are coming to your school to audition for two twins in um Potter films and obviously I started in Goblet of Fire in the fourth film so I knew the characters but um, my whole school auditioned so like everybody went after school to audition and then um, yeah 12 auditions like I auditioned like 12 auditions like all over England 8,000 girls auditioned from England and Scotland Wales and then in the final audition there were there was like a huge boardroom with like Mike Newell, like the director for that mm. film. And every single other couple was like a twin, identical twins. <laughs> and it was me and Shafali. So I thought, I'm never going to get it. Like, they want a twin. Like, I'm not a twin. I'm with this girl. And they kept matching me up with like one of the other twins. It was really weird. And then in the end, the director said he'd rather have two people that didn't look alike, that could naturally act, than two people that couldn't act what it looked like. So then, yeah, 12 auditions later, I got the call on my 16th birthday to say that I got the I got the role. So, yeah, and that was like my first ever job. Wow. Was Harry Potter, yeah. What a nice way to turn 16. To turn 16, <laughs> yeah, I know. Sweet 16. Donc, elle a fait beaucoup d'auditions. Elle en a fait 12. À un certain point, les profs à l'école, ils ont dit, il y aura des casting agents qui vont venir parce qu'on cherche des acteurs pour le prochain Harry Potter film. Comme elle n'est pas rentrée dans le premier film, mais plus tard, elle connaissait déjà tout le monde de l'école à essayer. 8000 filles autour de toute l'Angleterre ont fait des auditions. Ils cherchaient des jumeaux. Et à un certain point, elle se retrouve avec tous des jumeaux en face des casting agents et les, les réalisateurs, les producteurs. Euh, et elle trouve ça bizarre qu'on qu la combinait avec des autres filles qui étaient bien des jumeaux, jumelles, jumeaux, jumelles, 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 oui, jumelles, voilà, des jumelles. <rire> trouve ça bizarre, mais ils ont décidé, on aimerait plutôt avoir deux filles qui savent vraiment jouer, interpréter, plutôt que des filles qui ont choisi simplement, simplement parce qu'ils sont des jumelles. Mais après 12 auditions, elle a réussi. Et voilà, elle est ici. Achenazade. It's you. <laughs> Anyone there in front? Thomas is running. No, he's not. No, he's he's at ease. He's, 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 he's not allowed. No. He's banned. Who let you in? So I, uh, I read a rumor on the internet that you guys are big fans of the Death Eaters in the films, and I was wondering who your favorite Death Eater was. <laughs> I'm wondering. I'm, I'm I think I like Death Eater number one. Yeah. Did you get to meet the actor that played him? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are you laughing at? Why are you laughing? Um, everyone was really, really nice. Like, all the guys who played the Death Eaters and all the ghosts and, yeah. Thank you very much. I never had to work with them, so uh, I never got to meet the guys, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, I know Afshan was kind of on set with them quite a bit, so she built right. up a good uh, relationship What Death Eater was them. your favourite? Probably number 10, the one that does this from the train. That's my favourite one, yeah. Right. You've seen that scene, yeah. I wonder how this is going to be translated into... <laughs> I'm wondering myself. I'm, I want to look over to the presenter and then I realise, no, that's me. <laughs> Let's forget that question. Yeah. That's this is our agent. Let's not listen to him, OK? Oui, oui. C'est une question sur the Death Eaters. Yeah. Yes. That well, was a really good impression, by the way, of Death Eater number 10. Yeah. I was a casting director, I would yeah. definitely cast it. Death Eater number 10 impression, really good. Do you want to come on stage and do that? No? I think you yeah. should. I think you I need think to come up here and show the world. Stage. Do you want to know? No? There's, there's room. No? There's room. Okay. Are you sure? G? Want to come on stage? No? No? No, yeah. there are... Yeah. yeah, yeah. They always do this. Always. <laughs> no, Sorry they only that, do guys. this right now. That was our manager, our agent. Like, yeah. It's not. Yeah. They only do this now because they really love you. Yeah. Of course, that's what it is. That's why, that's why. Let's see. Um, was there anybody? Anybody? It, that way it turns into like an auction moment. Anybody? Anybody? Question? Come on, guys. Question. I know it's the end of the night. I end know. Of the it's the last day. Let's have a good jour. question. Mais Come on. Vous allez retourner chez vous et vous dire ah j'aurais dû on. demander cette question ci, cette question là. Uh, now or never. Oh. Look at <laughs> and Thor. Oh, Thor. No, no, sure. Thor. Because yeah. it's Thor. Yeah. Oh, you both. That's fine. I, it's not going to be an original question, though. I think. Uh, I'm sorry. Is it about their favorite animal? No. Okay, then go ahead. No, I was just wondering, both of you, but Hashem, how how was your um, 
experience over the last years and during the pandemic and if there was something that you took from it positive rather than negative? That is an original question. We haven't been asked that. So you that, haven't been asked no. that? Oh, yay! Yes. <laughs> Give the woman an applause. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, sure, 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 sure. Now we listen to the answer. Donc, si elle a pris quelque chose de positif de deux dernières so, années uh, yeah. sous COVID. The biggest thing with me is I had a baby during the pandemic. Yeah, so, oh, yeah. I did really like adult things. I bought a house, I had a baby, I like, it was a really interesting time. Yeah, oh. but I guess half the world had a baby during the pandemic. <laughs> I feel like everybody just had a baby during the pandemic. But, um, yeah. yes, yeah. I had a baby during the pandemic too. Everybody had yeah. a baby. I don't think there was much else to do. No. So. <laughs> we were all at home with our partners and. Um, no, we're just trying to keep safe and like, I think the best, I, it was a blessing in disguise having like a lockdown yeah. when I was pregnant because I didn't want to leave the house or like, yeah. do you know what I mean? It was like my safe bubble. Quality time. Quality time yes. myself, my husband yeah. and just, um, yeah, I, I just tried to keep, keep say TikTok. Like, ah, and great. just like every, a banana bread and I was cooking loads oh, wow. and just like, yeah, just being a wife and just enjoying my pregnancy. Oh. Yeah. And congratulations. Thank you. Voilà. Thank you. Elle était enceinte, elle a eu, elle a eu un, un bébé, Devon aussi en plus. Um, et, et elle a bien aimé être enceinte sous le lockdown. Uh, comme ça, elle était beaucoup plus relax. Il n'y a pas de stress. Uh, elle était vraiment dans son propre espace. Uh, elle a beaucoup aimé de redécouvrir cela. And yeah, yeah, so like Afshan, I had a baby during lockdown. Uh, it was the best thing in the world. Thank you very much. <laughs> so proud for your baby having powers. Yes. Uh, no, it was like the best thing in the world. So there was a lot of, for what I do on a daily, day-to-day -day basis, I own a stud farm. So we breed horses and I'm, I was able to go to work every day. And I was up with the horses all day, every day, myself, Shannon, uh, until she was kind of too big to be uh, out of the house. So uh, yeah, we did, did the horses up until Shannon was pretty big then we had our baby and that's been like just amazing yeah voilà et donc il lui aussi dans son yeah. dans son espace avec euh, son son entreprise avec des chevaux euh, où il était tous les jours parce qu'il s'était encore toujours permis d'y aller yeah. euh, jusqu'au moment où elle n'était plus capable de elle avait besoin plus d'aide et puis elle, de sa femme je veux dire euh, elle était enceinte et puis ils ont eu leur enfant et c'est ça un peu la vie qu'ils ont eu jusqu'à maintenant donc ils sont très heureux avec euh, L'espace et le temps qu'on est, qu'ils ont eu sous le lockdown. There's going to be so many COVID babies. Yes. Oh no, I'm not talking about it. Oh, it's okay. I'm literally just saying Don't. that I'm worried about uh, when Cooper gets old enough to yeah. go to school. Yeah. There's going to be so many other COVID babies yeah. that it's going to be so hard to get them actually into the school that you want them to go to. Yeah, the social contact with these Brick. kids. I haven't. Well, uh, that's it as well. Yeah. yeah. I have a niece too, and it takes a long, longer time, but it will yeah. be fine. Yeah. Like having, having. Il y a beaucoup plus de bébés après le les lockdown. Ça s'appelle pas le lockdown en français, mais vous savez ce que je veux dire. Hein? Ouais. Ouais. <rire> le couvre-feu, c'est ça? Lockdown. Lockdown? C'est autre chose. Le confinement. Ouais. Le confinement. Ah, confinement. Le confinement. Ah ouais, That's the lockdown. Pas. Le ah. confinement. Le confinement. <rire> Did you have a lockdown in Belgium? Yeah. Yes. As well? yes. Several. I mean, the world did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. several. Et donc, il y a autant de bébés, donc ça sera dur. Well, I think from tomorrow, like, the masks are all off yeah. in Belgium. Yes. Woo! Stay safe, Finally. everyone, though. Stay yeah, safe. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Four. So, uh, congratulations about the babies. <laughs> Thank you. Back. Uh, I was wondering what you do now for, uh, you know, work. Do you have a <laughs> work project? I'm a full-time mom. Yeah, that's I the yeah. biggest Woo! and most stressful job yes. that there is. Okay, that's a full-time job. We should get paid for that job. Yes. Just me. Yeah. yeah. You should. That's the hardest job I've ever done in my life is to be a mom. So that's, whenever anyone asks me, what are you doing? Yeah. Well, I'm a mom. Yes. I'm a mom and a wife. Them two, oh my God. They're like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those two other, they're so high maintenance. So high maintenance, don't have time to do anything else. 24 hour job. I don't know which one's worse, wife or mom? Like, yeah. <laughs> wife? Is oh, that wife? <laughs> That's a harder job, yeah, there is. <laughs> Euh, donc, qu'est-ce qu'elle fait maintenant euh, Elle dit, je suis mère, je suis femme, c'est déjà assez à faire, euh, ma journée est remplie. Euh, <rire> voilà. 
Uh, so I own a stud farm back in Ireland and like that I breed horses. I buy a lot of horses from mainland Europe, a lot of horses from Belgium. So uh, I'd be over here quite regularly. Uh, but yeah, so I do that and I also trade cryptocurrencies. Uh, it's like the best thing in the world. Everybody should be into yeah. cryptocurrency. And <laughs> yeah, so that's what I do and I'm a father. Voilà, donc il est père, mais il a ses chevaux, ses cheval, ses cheval, chevaux, chevaux, un cheval, deux chevaux. chevaux. J'aurais dû savoir. <rire> des chevaux pour lesquels de temps en temps il se trouve aussi en Belgique parce qu'il achète aussi beaucoup de chevaux, euh, beaucoup en Belgique. Euh, oui, ça, et il, 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 il est père de ses enfants, de son enfant, euh, et il a ses chevaux. Well, on top of that, I should say, like, I do, I do other things as well, but not... You do. But what do you do? Yeah, what, what do I do? Not, like, like, I have a YouTube channel, which ah. I've not actually, like, ever since having the baby, I've not actually done, but I do have a YouTube channel. Ah. And I'm coming back. Everybody, like, messages me every day, like, when is your next one? But I've been so busy with the baby that I've just, like, haven't had. But, yeah, like, Instagram, like, YouTube, and, like, they are, like, they take up a lot of time, but um, it's, it's, uh, I need to get back into it. I've just become, like, really lazy and just in, like, my bubble with my it's baby. Okay. Okay. But, um, it's perfectly okay. I will get that. That's not laziness. That's no. you make choices. It's life. You make exactly. choices. Priority. That's yes. Exactly. That's, my priority. That's it. Yes, yes, yes. Donc exactly. là, son, son, son canal YouTube et son Instagram et tout le monde lui, lui envoie des messages. Oh. Euh, comment quand recommences-tu? Quand recommences-tu? Mais pour le moment, ses priorités sont d'être à la maison avec son enfant et son mari avec elle-même. Ouais. Même peut-être bientôt, un jour. On ne sait jamais. So. There's any last questions? Any, there's one, one final more. question. One no? final question. Okay. Yeah, I'm afraid the microphone is gone. So please come quick, quickly, come here. We'll use my microphone. Quick, That's quick, the quick, final, quick, final, quick. final, final, final question. Final. Uh, so congrats with the babies. Are you going to read them Harry Potter or watch the movies with them? <laughs> well, you definitely. You did, did. Yeah. yeah. So uh, on Christmas Day, I, I, I have. Okay, I better get this right. So I've never watched any of the other Harry Potter movies, except for when I go to the premieres. And I've never watched them again, ever. Except the very first Harry Potter movie I will watch on Christmas Day. And I have done oh, since it came out. Good tradition. So on Christmas Day this year, we had a new family member, obviously Cooper. So we were watching Harry Potter and he woke up and Aww. he watched probably like the first 20, 30 minutes <laughs> before he kind of got annoyed. I didn't want to watch it anymore. He was asleep by the time I came on screen, so. Uh, <laughs> but he will watch it. Yeah. We're not going to tell him that I'm in Harry Potter. Obviously, he's probably going to figure it out by then. But uh, yeah, we're going to see what his reaction is. Cool. Yeah, I have to. I mean, like, we have to. Yeah. And like, I bought her here today, it's their first con. So um, yeah, when she's a bit older, I think it's a bit too scary for her. I mean, she's seven months old, like. Yeah, no. She's not <laughs> But yeah, she'll know. She'll know. Yeah. Sure. At a certain point, we... No, 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 yeah, yeah. That. <laughs> okay, that was a final question. Thank you so much, Thank everybody. you very Thank much. You Thank, you so much. Much. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much, guys.